What up, YouTube? It's Makaira. One, two, three, fuck it. But this video, I'm gonna be reading my subscribers' assumptions. I'm so close to 300 subscribers that's why I'm doing this video. I'm literally at 297. Like, three more people, come on. Go tell your friends, go share this video, and tell them to subscribe. Three more people away. That's it. That's it. So, yeah, um, that's why I'm doing this video, kind of. So, yeah, I'm just gonna be reading. I asked, um, I made a YouTube video. I asked on one of my YouTube um, videos, my previous one to comment your assumptions about me. So I'm gonna read off my sister's phone because I'm using my phone to record since my camera is acting so stupid. But yeah, that's enough of the talking. Let's get straight into it. Oh yeah, and if, um, I'm gonna be saying subscribe to all these people because most of the people that um, wrote assumptions are small YouTubers. So if I'm not gonna say it for each one. I'm just gonna say it now. Go ch at least check out their channels, you know. So the first one assumption is uh, from Life is Kayla. I'm not, I don't know if I'm saying it right. I'm sorry if I'm not. I don't know if I am. I'm so, uh, okay. Um, it's such a people, girls have a problem with you for no reason because you're pretty. Honestly, no. I'm not ugly. I don't think I'm. I do think I'm pretty. I'm just not. I'm not the type of person who would just be in drama because they are pretty. That's not what kind of pretty I am. I don't know what kind of pretty that would be, but. Um, I say to myself, and honestly, if you say to yourself, even if you are pretty, you won't get in drama. I mean, some people just have friends that are in drama, and they also are pretty, so that's how they get dragged into drama. My friends are pretty cool, nobody messes with us that much. Like, I'm honestly saying, like, nobody messes with us. So just choose your friend groups wisely, is basically what I'm saying. The next one is assumptions. So, it's me, Solera. Solera? Solera? So, number one, you seem shy. Um, I wouldn't say I'm shy, I just would say I will stay to myself, because when something... Oh, my God. <laughs> When something um needs to get said, I will say it or like. So Another example, um, like I participate in classes, so I'm not shy. Like I'll probably over participate because I'm a nerd like that. It's okay. <laughs> anyway, you seem cool AF. Um, I am cool, very cool. I think I don't know. Sometimes I, my personality can be very depressing. Sorry, that took a wrong turn. <laughs> sometimes I'm just being honest. Like sometimes it can. So and the next one, you like to eat. Is that even a question? I just swear. <laughs> it's not really food, but. Mm. You see me eat the way I Gatorade? We're doing this in each video because I can't eat while I'm talking. That's the only reason. I shouldn't even be drinking while I'm doing video, but I can't eat while I'm talking, so that's why. Um, next one. Assumptions. You're the chill type. Um, yes, I'm very chill, I should say. I can also have, like, very crackhead energy, but that does not last for that long at all. But I am very chill. I'm into a lot of different things. That I'm smart. That's why people don't think I'll be into them things. But I'm like, you could be smart and do a lot of things. Like, you, you because you're smart, I mean, you're like that nerdy. Like, you could be chill. That's pretty much describing me. I'm very chill. Like, I think. Friends, comment down below if you think else. You're a private person. Yeah, I'm pretty private. <sighs> no, I lie. I'm not. I mean, in school, I do so many things. It's ridiculous. Like, honestly, <laughs> in these last few years in middle school, I've done so many things that I don't even know. Like clubs, um, oh. sewing, things, floor, sports, all types of stuff. So I wouldn't say I'm private, but I'm private when it comes to certain information. So I guess you could say that. Very quiet. Um, when the time needs to be in class, when, cause I'm a good, I'm a good student. Okay, I'm a good student. So when I need to be quiet, I'm gonna be quiet. I mean, what's the point of disrespecting a teacher? I, I, I don't get it. If they ask you to be quiet, just be quiet so they can teach. That's what you're in school for, right? So. I'm quiet when I need to be, but I'm also like participate and do all this stuff. And even outside of school, I don't talk about school a lot because that's mainly where <laughs> the main place we used to be at. But now we're at home. At home, I'm not that quiet, I would say. I'm not that quiet, but. I do stay in my room a lot to myself, but I'm also with my sister sometimes. So, all right, next one don't give a F. This literally describes me. I don't. And it's starting to get kind of scary. <laughs> I'm starting to get scary. I'm just like being honest here. Um, like scary as in really not giving a f. Um, yeah, I have that kind of personality sometimes. I don't know what it is. It's just I'm starting really not to care anymore, and it's really getting scary. 
I really need help. <laughs> okay, next one. We're just gonna skip past everything I just said. Um, you're cocky. You're cocky. Um, I don't know. Sometimes I feel like I can be because of like the sports I do and stuff. And other times it's just like, so I, I wouldn't say I'm too cocky. I'm just gonna say no. Just put it out there. I guess not. Because I care about other people and stuff, so I wouldn't say I'm too cocky. Next up, is you're shy, you're really nice, and you're cool to be around. The first one, I'm not really that shy. I mean, I'm... Sh I don't know. I'm not camera shy. Some people will say I'm shy, like, out in public, like, when I'm at, like, a party or when I'm at, like, a cookout. I would be because... It all depends on the people who I'm around, like, honestly. If you are showing crackhead energy, then I will not be the same as you, but I will be somewhere up there, you know? Okay, and then you're really nice. Guys, I'm too nice. Like, I'm too nice. It's starting to get scary as well. I do so many nice things. I, I don't know, but I feel like I'm too nice and I think it's starting to be a problem. Because I don't want to get pushed over. But I think that's where it's leading. I'm going to work on my niceness. I don't want to be mean because that's just, just not who I am. I'm a very nice person. I care too much, I think. And I think it's starting to like, really wear me down. And you're cool to be around. I'm very cool to be around because I'm so caring. Because I'm so nice. So, yeah. So, I'm sure you're really nice. Again, too nice. Um, you have a small group of friends and like to keep to yourself. Spot on. <laughs> you play sports. Is that even a question anymore? I play about three sports. My whole life I've played about five, six sports. So I play cheerleading. So I'm going to order. I play soccer, cheerleading. Back to soccer, volleyball, track, and basketball. So right now I'm playing volleyball, track, and basketball. Because they're all different teams. I stopped cheerleading, I stopped track. I mean, I stopped cheerleading, I stopped soccer because it was getting in the way. I love sports and yeah. And you're confident. Yeah, I would say I'm confident. I do play sports, so I have no choice but not to be confident. So, I mean, but to be confident. So, um, we're probably probably one in the friend group. Um, in my friend group, I would say I am pretty popular. Not popular as in all the boys want me or all the girls hate me. Not that kind of popular. But I'm popular as in the sports I play and because I'm smart and because I do so many things. There's other ways to be popular than being in fights all the time or being this cute girl who's dumb. There's other ways to be popular, so. That I feel like I'm the other way of being popular because I know how to handle myself. I'm not stupid. You're a social butterfly. I'm so confused on what that means. I guess it means I'm just social. Sometimes I act very slow. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm pretty social because I do so many things. So. What? To be honest, I assume that you're a really nice person, but you will put someone in their place when it's due. Period. <laughs> Yes, that is spot on too, but no, actually not. It's not spot on because I am really nice. That's why I say it's getting scary because I'm too nice and I don't know when the right situation to put someone in their place. That's the thing about me. I don't know when the right situation is. That's why I said it was getting kind of out of hand. So I do need to work on that because I don't want to get pushed over. But okay, that's everything. So those are all the assumptions. Comment down below if you want a part two. So close to 300. Probably when you see this video, I'll probably be at 300. So, yeah. I might say thank you for 300. Just thank you guys for giving me, uh, for giving me this form. I've been on YouTube for about three years. I, but then those first two years, I was consistent. But in this past year, I've really been pretty consistent. And it's all because I have hope now. I have hope that I can make it off of YouTube. Um, I know it's going to take a while. I know it's probably going to take about another year before I even get to 1K, which is a small goal. But then I start making money. So, yeah. Again, please subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up if you want a part two. Thank you guys for watching. Bye. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.